Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have started with the car modeling over here. So let's continue it. So now what I'll be doing over here is like, I'll be doing some work with the tires over here. How you can model the tires. Let's go over here. Let's take a tube over here. So if you have a reference of a tire, you can take a reference of a tire or we can just model it. So let's just take <coughs> a shape over here. Let's go into this and increase its height a bit. So let's just increase the height. So we can just create uh, this much is okay. All right. So let's again go over here, slightly reduce the height segments increase the sides over here <coughs> so I can just make uh, 2 to 4 sides over here let's convert to editable poly let's put one loop over here select the edges slightly just push this out <coughs> again put some loops slightly just push them out a bit over here and now double click on this edges and I can just go over here <coughs> and let's give a bit of chamfer so we can easily assign a bit of chamfer over here so let's assign a bit of chamfer and let's click OK. So now what I can do over here is like after that let's select this polygons. So if you want you can select it according to your needs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you want, you can make it on your own also. So we can leave some space. Let's see how we can do it. So it's not going to work out. So let's select this, ring it. How many edges are selected? We can see that so 24 edges are selected. So I can just instead of this I'll just leave space of 2 by 2 you can do that way also All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that's ok now after that <coughs> let's extrude it over here so we have uh, space equal space over here slightly just shuffle it further over here so we can do this <coughs> and let's click ok delete this so if you want I can just go over here and let's start to weld all this one by one
the only thing is if you're going to go in this way what what you can do is uh, you can just select this you can slightly inset it you can just slightly inset it let's bevel it first and then let's extrude it okay this looks much better now and let's click ok now delete this select the vertices and let's weld it <coughs> and just weld it so let's weld it So just keep on selecting it and let's keep on welding. So once it is done, let's go over here, let's select the border, right click and I'll just cap this, again you can just cap it, so that can be done easily. Let's again put some loops, so I'll just select this, select this one one edges press alt and r for ring and let's give one connect over here so we can just assign one one connect and slightly i can just push it out in this way select this scale it <coughs> so you can individually scale it if needed if needed you can scale it individually in this way correctly so we can we can just model a disk also so if you have a reference you can just model the disk part so for now I'll just again go over here I'll just uh, create a cylinder so that detailing if you need you can create that disk detailing part so for now I'll just uh, put this stuff like this go over here let's just take a cylinder and reduce the radius so I'm just uh, doing it non-uniformly I don't want to place it at the exact position so I'm just placing it non-uniformly we can just place the elements So select this stuff, let's go over here, go into the compound objects, pro boolean and let's just start clicking on this, so it is just going to subtract this all over here, so convert to poly, drag inside this way. You can create that particular stuff over here, that can be done, not a problem. So I'll just give any color to it, 
so I'm not modeling any kind of grips over here right now so if you want you can do that so again I'll just shuffle this over here just save the file <coughs> so let's again mirror it so I'll just mirror it copy it in x-axis so we can just push it over here that we can do it later so for now I'll just uh, group this disk and tire that's it so again I'll go into the side view and I'll just make a copy of it so you can just make a copy as required over here all right so let's again come out of this particular view and for an instance I'll just assign a simple material <coughs> so we can easily do it correctly now again go over here select this edges so we have this edges over here select it uh, right click and target weld and target weld like this <coughs> shuffle it select this again select this edges again drag it over here so if you have a back view that would be uh, you know going to give you much correct result so we can take a back view so first let's just weld this let's put a loop over here you can just make it straighter again just weld it in this way and <coughs> again select this again drag it over here like this so if you see this part this is going to go inside a bit and right click again target weld so we are going to do this stuff over here so we need to uh, create the details over here we can create the details as needed so slightly again put one loop over here shuffle it so we can just check out if any of the polygons or vertices are not weld we can just weld that stuff so somewhere the other so make sure you correctly weld yeah see this if it's not weld so we can just weld this it looks correct over here <coughs> all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial.